Hey guys, welcome back to my station. As I said, I was going to do kind of like my educational journey. Um, so in 2018, I think it was about 2018, I graduated from the BYU Pathway program and I was kind of like, what's next? What do I do? And there was like zero information about it, like what to do, where to go, what's available type of thing. So... And I emailed it on YouTube, and there was nothing. The website's a little hole, but not much. So that's the point of my video. First off, subscribe. I will be doing more about my educational journey and my weight loss and entertainment. I love entertainment and Disney, so stay tuned. Anyways, so let's get started. So I did the BYU Pathway program. If you want to know more about that, I already have a video about that. But... I was kind of like, after that, I was like, what's next? And there are three options. The first one, I don't really know much about, so I won't really talk about it, but it's about, it's to go to BYU Provo. And I didn't know much about, I don't know really anything about that. All I do know is that going to BYU Provo to get in is kind of tough. Actually, it's really tough to get in. So if you are a BYU Pathway Pro, student who went to BYU Provo congratulations like that is awesome and I would love to know more about that so if you are like comment below if you went did the pathway program and went to BYU Provo because I will love to know more about it and everything like that option number two go to Insane College that's where I am now but I did but I went there later and I'll explain a little bit more about it later option number three is go to BYUI, BYU Idaho in person. Or actually there's four options. The fourth option is what most students do, including myself, is do BYU Idaho online. And I just really confused about like the process and what to do and how to do your degree and everything. So this is what this video is all about. So this is what their recommendation is for the BYU Idaho. Oh, online. First is get your certificate. What do you mean by certificate? Certificate is basically just like like a smaller degree that doesn't require like the gen eds and all that stuff. I did social media marketing and I absolutely loved it. And that's where I kind of how I got my career start was the certificate program. Um, so they have like social media marketing, they have I think like marriage family studies, um, mm, website de design, just all these different classes, certificates. So they want you to get your certificate first. Once you get done with your certificate, then you'll go for your associates. And that's when you start taking like gen eds and other course classes. And they have multiple associates you can choose from. And then after you get your associates, you can go for your bachelor's. So bachelor's, that's kind of where I struggled. There was not really a bachelor's that I was interested in with BYU Idaho. Like, at first I was going for, like, business management, but you had to take, like, accounting and business stats, and I was just like, nope. So that was kind of my end of the line with BYU Online. But there is some huge positives about BYU Online that, I kind of miss it in, in the small way. It's very flexible. You choose, I mean, you choose what classes you take and then you just do your classes when you can. So like, yes, you have due dates of when your assignments are, are due, but otherwise, like, I worked full time for a bit and then would go home and do homework. Like, it was just that flexible. I could just go home and do homework whenever. Like, I didn't have a class that I had to run home to. Um, the instructors are awesome. And I met people from all over the world. And awesome. my number one thing is that it got my career started. I don't know what I would have done without the BYU I online I wouldn't be doing the job I am doing today. I'll talk more about that later, too. But also, I'll talk about the other options. So, Ensign. I didn't know Ensign was an option back then. I kind of 
in a way I kind of wish I did because I would love just to do the social media marketing program at Ensign where I'm at now, but that's okay. So either when you're done with Pathway, you can immediately transfer the Ensign or this is what I did. You have to have at least 24 credits to transfer to Ensign. So I had 24 credits and so I was able to transfer to Ensign College. Or you can transfer to like any college. I transferred to Ensign just because they had what I wanted and they have bachelor's degrees now. Yay! And then if you want to go to BYU I in person, I've heard people done that and they love it too. It all just kind of depends on who you are and where you're at. I'm older and BYUI is known for like younger college students, which so it just wasn't a fit for me. Whereas Ensign, there's students all over, like, it. there's people all over the place in age. Like, there's ladies who are, mom, like, older moms with, like, teenage kids in my classes. <laughs> like, Ensign's just, like, a little bit of everything. My boyfriend went to Ensign. He graduated. But he was ages 28 to 32 when he did Ensign. So it just, it, I kind of fit in more of that age range and the fit. And I absolutely love living in downtown Salt Lake now. But who else has done the BYUI online? Um, what are your tips of uh, from after you graduate from Pathway? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe I could do another video updating more about what to do next. Thank you. <laughs>